What time is it? It's prayer time. Today we gather to discuss a topic that is close to many hearts, healing. We are living in times when physical, emotional, and spiritual ailments seem rampant. Yet amidst the trials, the Word of God assures us that healing is available and accessible. The question is, how do we possess our healing? Let's turn to Mark 5, 25, 34, where we find the story of a woman who had been suffering from a bleeding condition for 12 long years. She had spent all she had on doctors, but instead of getting better, she grew worse. Her story is one of desperation, but also one of immense faith and determination. Recognize your need for healing. First, we must acknowledge our need for healing. The woman in our story knew she was unwell. She didn't deny or ignore her condition. Often we shy away from admitting our need for help, whether out of pride or fear. But true healing begins with the honest recognition that we are in need. Seek Jesus. The woman had heard about Jesus and the miracles he performed. She sought him out, believing he was her answer. In our journey to possess healing, we must actively seek Jesus. He is the great physician. We must approach him with the understanding that he alone holds the power to heal us faith in action the woman's faith was remarkable she said to herself if i just touch his clothes i will be healed this was not a passive belief it was faith in action she pushed through the crowd despite her weakness and the risk of public humiliation to touch jesus's cloak her faith drove her to action faith without works is dead says james 2:17. to possess our healing we must put our faith into action this might mean praying persistently seeking medical help while believing god for complete healing or making lifestyle changes that align with a healthier life touch Jesus. When the woman touched Jesus, she was healed immediately. Her bleeding stopped and she felt it in her body. There is power in the touch of Jesus. Today we touch Jesus through prayer, worship, and immersing ourselves in his word. We reach out to him with our hearts, believing that he is near and ready to heal. Acknowledge Jesus publicly. Jesus knew power had gone out from him and he asked, who touched my clothes? The woman came forward trembling with fear, but she fell at his feet and told him the whole truth. Jesus responded, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Acknowledging Jesus publicly is crucial. It is a testimony of his power and goodness. When we testify of our healing, we glorify God and encourage others to believe and receive their healing. Hold on to your healing. Finally, after receiving your healing, it's important to hold on to it. The enemy will try to bring doubt and fear, suggesting that the healing isn't real or won't last. Stand firm in your faith. Confess God's promises over your life daily. Remember that your healing is secured by the blood of Jesus. Physical healing God cares deeply about our physical well-being. The Bible is replete with examples of Jesus healing the sick, giving sight to the blind, and even raising the dead. While we stand in faith for miraculous healing, we also recognize that God uses various means means to bring about physical restoration. Taking care of our bodies through proper nutrition, regular exercise, and adequate rest is essential. The Apostle Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20, that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. Honoring God with our bodies means stewarding our health responsibly. Additionally, we should seek medical help when necessary, trusting that God can work through healthcare professionals. Emotional healing. Emotional wounds can be as debilitating as physical ailments. Hurtful experiences, trauma, and unresolved conflicts can weigh heavily on our hearts. God's healing touch extends to our emotions. Psalm 147, 3 says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. To possess emotional healing, we must bring our pain before God in prayer, allowing Him to minister to our hearts. Seeking godly counsel or professional therapy can also be a significant step towards healing. Surrounding ourselves with a supportive community and engaging in activities that bring joy and peace can foster emotional well-being. Spiritual healing, spiritual healing is foundational to our overall health. Sin separates us from God, but through Jesus Christ we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. 1 Peter 2.24 declares, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Maintaining a vibrant spiritual life involves regular prayer, studying the Bible and participating in worship and fellowship. Confession and repentance are crucial in keeping our hearts pure before God. As we grow in our relationship with Him, we experience His transformative power, leading to a healthy and thriving spiritual life. We're getting ready to pray, but before we begin to pray, please do like, comment, and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. 
Let us pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and faith, knowing that you are our healer and our source of all good things. We acknowledge your sovereignty and your love for us, and we thank you for the gift of healing that you have provided through your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we declare your promises over our lives, believing that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. We stand on your word that says, you sent out your word and healed them. You rescued them from the grave, Psalm 107, 20. We claim this healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us to walk in the fullness of this healing. Teach us to live out our faith daily, to speak words of life and healing over ourselves and others. Strengthen us to take steps of obedience, knowing that your power is made perfect in our weakness. Surround us with a community of believers who will support and encourage us, sharpening our faith and keeping us accountable. Holy Spirit, fill us anew. Guide us with your wisdom and empower us to live a life that reflects the wholeness and health that you have provided. We ask for your strength to persevere, even when circumstances seem challenging. Let our lives be a testimony of your miraculous power, bringing hope and faith to those around us. Lord, we pray for those who are struggling with sickness and disease. We lift them up to you, asking for your healing touch to restore their bodies, minds, and spirits. We intercede on their behalf, believing that you are able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine. Lord, we ask for a deepened understanding of how to possess and live out our healing. Help us to cultivate a spirit of gratitude and joy, recognizing that each day is a testament to your goodness and faithfulness. Teach us to remain focused on your word and to hold fast to the truth of our healing, regardless of the challenges we may face. Grant us the courage to put our faith into action. Show us practical ways to live out our healing through our daily choices, interactions, and responses. Empower us to speak words of encouragement and life, to act in obedience to your will and to serve others with compassion and love. Let our actions be a reflection of the healing and wholeness we experience through you. In moments of weakness or doubt, remind us of your strength and power. Help us to rely not on our own abilities, but on your grace and the power of the Holy Spirit. Strengthen our resolve to persevere through trials, knowing that your grace is sufficient and your power is made perfect in our weakness. Help us to trust in your perfect timing and plan. Even when the path seems uncertain, remind us that you are in control and working all things together for our good. Let us remain patient and steadfast, knowing that your timing is always right and that you are faithful to complete the work you have begun in us. Holy Spirit, we seek your guidance in every step of our healing journey. We ask for your wisdom to discern the path you have set before us. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 reminds us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Help us to trust in your divine guidance and to follow your lead. We surrender our healing and our lives to you, Lord. We recognize that true healing involves a daily surrender of our fears, anxieties, and doubts. Teach us to lay down our burdens before you and to trust in your plans for our lives. Philippians 4, 6, 7 encourages us to do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Strengthen our faith as we walk this path of healing. Help us to cling to your promises and to maintain unwavering faith even when circumstances are challenging. Hebrews 11. One tells us that now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Let our faith be a source of strength and a testimony of your power in our lives. Lord, we pray for complete restoration and renewal in our bodies, minds, and spirits. We believe in your power to heal and restore all that has been broken. Psalm 51.10 asks, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. We ask for your renewal and restoration in every area of our lives. Lord, we are grateful for the victory we have in Christ. 1 Corinthians 15.57 declares, But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the promise of healing in your word. I claim these promises over my life and believe in your power to heal. Father, I acknowledge your sovereignty over my body and health. I trust in your divine plan for my healing. Lord, strengthen my faith as I wait for your healing. Help me to trust in your timing and power. Father, I ask for physical healing from specific illness or condition. Restore my body and grant me health. Lord, heal my emotional wounds and bring peace to my heart and mind. Replace anxiety and fear with your comfort. God, renew my strength as I recover. Restore my energy and vitality so I can fulfill your purposes. Father, guide the hands 
hands and minds of the medical professionals who are treating me. Grant them wisdom and skill. Lord, I intercede for the health of my family members. Heal them and protect them from illness. God, help me to overcome doubt and maintain hope in your healing power. Strengthen my trust in your promises. Father, heal relationships that have been strained or affected by my illness. Restore peace and understanding. Lord, release me from pain and discomfort. Grant me relief and comfort as I seek your healing. Father, I pray for complete restoration of my health. Heal me fully and make me whole. God, provide me with comfort and peace in your presence as I undergo this healing process. Lord, grant me the strength to endure medical treatments and procedures with patience and hope. Father, use this time of healing to renew my spirit and draw me closer to you. God, help me to overcome fear of the unknown regarding my health. Replace my fear with faith in your control. Lord, I pray for healing from chronic conditions that have affected my quality of life. Restore my health completely. Father, make my recovery effective and swift. Let every step of my healing process bring me closer to full health. God, I trust in your provision for my healing. Provide me with all that I need, both physically and emotionally. Lord, release me from negative thoughts and fears about my health. Fill my mind with your peace and promises. Father, give me the strength to maintain a positive outlook and to encourage myself and others during this time. God, surround me with a supportive community of friends and family who will encourage and uplift me as I seek healing. Lord, address any financial burdens caused by my illness. Provide for my needs and relieve any financial stress. Father, increase my faith through this trial. Use this experience to deepen my trust and reliance on you. Lord, help me to overcome any symptoms and side effects of treatments. Grant me relief and strength. God, I pray for a testimony of your healing power in my life. Use my healing as a witness to your greatness. Father, grant me inner peace and joy even as I seek physical healing. Let your peace rule in my heart. Lord, I pray for healing from any area in my body. Restore my health. God, help me trust in your healing process even if it takes time. Strengthen my faith as I wait. Father, relieve me from anxiety related to my health. Replace worry with your peace and assurance. Lord, heal every system in my body that is affected by illness. Restore balance and health to each part. God, protect me from further illness and complications. Guard my health and strengthen my immune system. Father, thank you for the progress I have made in my healing journey. Continue to guide me toward complete recovery. Lord, use this time of healing to foster spiritual growth. Draw me closer to you and deepen my relationship with you. God, heal my emotional and mental health. Restore my joy, peace, and stability. Father, grant me endurance and patience throughout my healing process. Help me to remain steadfast in my faith. Lord, I pray for healing from any addictions or unhealthy habits that affect my overall health. Grant me freedom and strength. God, address any unspoken needs related to my health that I may not be aware of. Heal me completely. Father, I submit to your will in my healing journey. May your will be done in my life and may I glorify you through my healing. Lord, I commit to praising and worshiping you throughout my healing process. May my life reflect your goodness and faithfulness. Father, I thank you for the promises of healing in your word. I decree and declare that your promises are true. According to Isaiah 53, five by his wounds we are healed. Lord, I acknowledge your supreme power over all things. I decree and declare that your power is more than enough to heal me. According to Ephesians 1, 19, 20, his incomparably great power for us who believe. Father, strengthen my faith as I wait for your healing. I decree and declare that my faith will not waver. According to Hebrews 11, one, now faith is confidence in what we hope for. Lord, I ask for your healing touch on my body. I decree and declare that my body is restored to health. According to Jeremiah 30, 17, I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Father, heal my emotional wounds and bring peace to my heart. I decree and declare that your peace will guard my heart. According to Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. God, renew my strength and vitality. I decree and declare that I will rise up with renewed vigor, according to Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Lord, grant wisdom to the medical professionals treating me. I decree and declare that they are guided by your divine wisdom, according to James 1, 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God. Father, I lift up my family members to you. I decree and declare that your healing power is at work in their lives. According to 3 John 1, 2, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you. God, help me overcome doubts about my healing. I decree and declare that I trust fully in your promises. According to Mark eleven twenty four. whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it. 
Father, heal relationships strained by my illness. I decree and declare that harmony and understanding are restored. According to 1 Peter 3, 8, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another. Lord, provide relief from pain and discomfort. I decree and declare that pain is removed from my life. According to Psalm 147, 3, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Father, I pray for complete healing. I decree and declare that my healing is whole and complete. According to Matthew 8, 17, he took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. God, surround me with your presence and comfort me. I decree and declare that your presence brings me peace. According to Psalm 23, Three, four, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Father, grant me strength to endure medical treatments. I decree and declare that I will have the endurance needed. According to 2 Corinthians 12, 9, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Lord, use this time to renew my spirit. I decree and declare that this process draws me closer to you. According to Romans 12, 2, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. God, remove my fear about my health. I decree and declare that I have no fear because your love drives it away. According to 1 John 4, 18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Lord, I ask for healing from chronic conditions. I decree and declare that these conditions are healed. According to Psalm 103, 3, he forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Father, make my recovery process effective and swift. I decree and declare that each step brings me closer to complete health. According to Isaiah 58, 8, then your light will break forth like the dawn. God, I trust in your provision for my healing. I decree and declare that you provide all I need for recovery. According to Philippians 4, 19, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory. Lord, free me from negative thoughts about my health. I decree and declare that my mind is filled with your truth. According to 2 Corinthians 10, 5, we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Father, help Help me maintain a positive outlook. I decree and declare that I will encourage myself and others. According to Proverbs 17, 22, a cheerful heart is good medicine. God, surround me with supportive friends and family. I decree and declare that their love and encouragement uplift me. According to Galatians 6, two, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Lord, provide relief from financial burdens caused by my illness. I decree and declare that you will meet all my financial needs. According to Malachi 310 test me in this says the Lord Almighty and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven father strengthen my faith through this trial I decree and declare that my faith grows stronger according to James 1 3 the testing of your faith produces perseverance Lord, alleviate symptoms and side effects of treatments. I decree and declare that I experience comfort and relief. According to Exodus 15, 26, I am the Lord who heals you. God, I pray for a testimony of your healing power. I decree and declare that my healing will testify to your glory. According to Revelation 12, 11, they triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Father, grant me inner peace and joy during this healing process. I decree and declare that your joy is my strength. According to Nehemiah 8.10, the joy of the Lord is your strength. May this prayer bring you closer to the healing and wholeness that God has for you. Trust in his promises and walk in the fullness of his love and power. God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.